in this area for quite some time. I started off teaching tennis at uh, Tennis World at Ride, some thousand kids, and uh, it was a small business. It was growing, about 140 kids a week. And then uh, some years later, uh, I got involved uh, with the Ride Council who were trying to attract the, an Olympic Games venue here. They wanted to renew their aquatic centre because it was damaged, it was falling apart, it had concrete cancer, it couldn't be repaired. And working with them and my company Next Generation, we were able to put together a $52 million project. That project still has 1 million visitors a year. But more importantly, there was three criteria to that project. It had to house an event, water polo. It had to be an, a community asset after the games. And the third thing it had to achieve was it had to be viable. It is, to this day, the only Olympic venue from the 2000 Games that met all three criteria. Yes, that venture was commercially responsible. It washed its face and it continues to do so. We take small business very seriously in our party. We were the first party to actually have a shadow minister for small business. That's Bruce Bilson. He's been in the job for the duration. You could say there's been some stability, there's been some certainty, and there's been some dependability. In that same period of time, the government has had six ministers for small business. We have a platform to help small business. I've been in small business, I know what is needed. We do need stability and certainty and dependability. We need lower taxes. We will promise to get rid of the carbon tax. The carbon tax is the most all-pervasive tax that has ever burdened business. And then what's more, it follows you home, it taxes you when you're there, and it taxes you on the way home. That is an ironclad promise. We will reduce red tape and green tape by one billion dollars a year. Red tape and green tape currently burdens business by 12 billion dollars a year. It's important to help small businesses attract the best people. And that's why the paid parental leave system is such a windfall for small business. At the moment, small business can't compete with big business and government agencies that pay better to those who are faced with that opportunity of having a family. No woman should ever be in that situation of having to choose a career.